Friday morning, Kevin Keatsman is uh, 15 minutes away for our feature Friday segment. we got a lot to get into uh, with him just after the top of the hour from 9 to 9.30. But it is Friday. It is almost 9, and that means one thing on KCMO. It's time to buy, 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 buy. sell, I, I it in, 12 and, 15. and hold. All right, John Anthony, what is on the rundown this morning? Buy, sell, or hold. I'll use the word professional here. How about that? That'll be okay. Professional athletes learning English. I am buying that. I don't know if you saw this yesterday, but Ellie De La Cruz is one of the rising stars in Major League Baseball from the Dominican Republic. And to open up the season, the Cincinnati Reds uh, shortstop who is uh, apparently going to be, you know, one of the future studs in Major League Baseball, spoke about how he spent this offseason learning English. I'm buying this, and here's what he had to say. I love this. Yeah, it's so important to me because now you guys understand understand what I say, and it's important to the fans to understand me, and me understand the fans. And I I put a lot of work on my English to talk with you guys and I think I'm doing a good job <laughs> that's what I think I don't know I, I can vouch for it yeah, <laughs> I don't know how did you uh, how did you work on it I will I practice every day talking with the other guys and I just talk with them and I just let it go that's amazing you know, last week I played a clip for you of a guy who won a state house race in Ohio, and he gave his victory speech in Somali. And I'm not about, you know, turning your back on your own culture, but, you know, when you're in America, like I remember my grandmother's told this story. My grandpa, when he was a kid here in the 1930s as a first-generation American, he reprimanded his own mother for speaking Italian to him in the grocery store when he was a kid because there was pride in becoming an American. That's the one thing, the language that can unify us. And some people want to make sure that that is, you know, not an option anymore. Now here's a guy, Ellie De La Cruz from the Dominican Republic, rising star in major league baseball, who says, you know, it's important for me, my relationship with the media, my relationship with my fans to learn this language. And he's only 22 years old. And that's something that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, across the board should be celebrated. And I saw this when I was reading about this guy, Ellie De La Cruz. The two fastest guys in Major League Baseball, home the first, Ellie De La Cruz and Bobby Witt Jr. How about that? Bam. So what's next, John? All right, buy, sell, or hold. I I thought I saw this the other day. The conjoined twins get married. Um, I'm holding this. I'm going to hold this. I don't know what to say. It's beyond bizarre. These... uh, Sisters, Abby and Brittany Hensel, who documented their lives in a TLC reality series, um, announced this week that they got married last year. They are conjoined twins. They have like two arms and two legs, but they have two heads. There are two sisters that are conjoined twins. And they got married to this guy, uh, Josh Bowling. And they just announced it here and it went viral this week. Um, And they shared some pictures on their Facebook this week as well. I have so many questions, and I don't think any of them are appropriate. I, I hope they're in love. I always root for love. But this guy is married to... I don't even know how to explain it. One body, two heads? Two, yeah, it's two different brains i've watched the show before my wife loves that stuff <laughs> it's so weird like it's hard for me to watch it but yeah they they have separate brains sometimes they have same brain waves like twins do but it's strange it, it is the strangest thing and god bless them i mean but it's literally it's one body with two heads on it and this guy josh who looks like you know pretty Humble, regular, run-of-the-mill dude got married to him. I mean, who do you kiss first when you get home from a long day at the office? Like, do you just rotate every other day? Do you like? There's just so many questions I have, and so many of them I probably can't talk about right now 
without getting myself into an incredible amount of trouble. But Save it for the playground. I, I'll, yes, or the post-show <laughs> podcast or something that doesn't exist. Don't worry. Whew. Yeah, this guy's an Army veteran. You know. Yeah, God bless him. I mean, I, I, I love them. And by the way, this is the one time that they, them actually make sense and mean something. Okay? Like, the they, them pronouns are nonsense. But in this case, you actually can get away with it. That's it, though. Conjoined twins is the only time I'll allow the they, them pronouns to be used and actually respect it. That's it. That's all I got. I'm done. I wonder if one of the girls uses the la, 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 la <laughs> technique when she doesn't want to hear something. Would that be annoying? <laughs> la, la, la. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Then, huh? What's next? Buy, sell, or hold. Vote yes or vote no passes on Tuesday. Okay. Um <sighs> I'm making my prediction for the first time. I believe that vote yes will win out. This is not me endorsing anything. This is not me saying what I want to have happen. I haven't done that in months. I'm not going to do it today. But the more I think about this and the more I realize that money matters in politics and fear tactics, scare tactics, like it or not, work in politics – I do believe that as much as there are many different factions of people voting no, there's progressive KC tenants folks, there's people who don't want the stadium to go downtown, there's people who want to save the K, there's people who are mad about their property taxes. I still believe that when push comes to shove, it'll be pretty close. But I'm predicting a win for vote yes on Tuesday by give or take, I'm going to say five or six points. That's my prediction this morning, John. May I concur with you as a yes voter? Yes. I think there's a lot of... It, it, it's real basic to me, and so I don't bother myself with the minutiae and the back and forth on the arguments. I already have a vote in heart. Yep. I think the yes people have a vote in heart. They're not necessarily vocal right now. But let's face it, squeaky wheel gets the grease in America. There's a lot of money in the no side to be the squeaky wheel to get greased. Yeah, yeah. You mean on the yes side or the no side? I mean on the no side. On the no I'm side. Opposed. Oh, well, here, here's yeah. a few dollars, and well, we're going to yes. fix that. And the other. A lot of money in the no sides of any argument, not just this. Yeah. Or what I'm saying, a lot of money to be the squeaky wheel to get greased. And I also believe that right now the yes voters are kind of like the silent majority. Yeah. They're not that loud. They're not barking a lot on social media. They're just yes voters, kind of like Trump, the silent majority. Mm-hmm. They weren't bragging about it back in 16, but they were there. And I think right now, the silent majority, you don't hear from them a lot, but I think they're out there, and I believe the yes will win. That's not me picking sides. That's not me endorsing yes. I'm just predicting the yes vote will pull it out. 